Hi, welcome. Oh my goodness, you guys, where did the month go? What the heck? It's over. It just feels like it started, but I think that might be because it's the shortest month of the year. And this year, we're not in a leap year, so it's okay, right? I know we've had a awesome month. We've had a great month of growth. We've had a month of shedding the things that don't serve us. We've had a month of embracing everything that does. And we've seen some things that don't serve us and we were okay letting them go so that we can go into the future with less resistance. We can grow into the future with less resistance. And that is amazing. That is just awesome, you guys. And so in this last quarter moon, I want you to just look at the month. Really look at it. Look at the notes. Look at the things that you did. Look at the self-care that you have implemented. Look at the boundaries that you've implemented. Look at how you showed up at work, how you showed up in your life, how you showed up in your family, how you showed up with friends. What is that for you? What is that showing up feeling like for you? How are you happy how everything went? Would you change things that took place? Would you do things differently? Would you wish that things had gone differently? Get really super clear on that and be really honest. Journal on that. Talk it through with yourself in a mirror if you have to. Um, But really, 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 really take the time to do this because What you're going to do is break patterns. You're breaking patterns and cycles that are not fulfilling you and you are strengthening the ones that do. You are embracing the things that are empowering you and you are letting go of the things that are holding you back. You are facing fears because this is not easy to do. None of this is easy to do. This is work that gets right in your face and it can be scary and you can procrastinate about it, but it's stuff that needs to get done. And I want you to just look at this and say, I'm learning, I'm growing, I'm evolving, and then what are you doing to do that? I'm evolving by. I'm evolving by implementing scheduled self-care into my routine. I am learning by showing up in a space where I wasn't really sure I could show up because I didn't know that I had time, but I chalked out the time and I showed up in that space and this is what I learned this month. Or maybe you're growing by, I set a boundary and this is how it treated me. Or just really get compassion for yourself, show yourself compassion, choose compassion for yourself because this, I'm not saying in any way, shape, and form that this is easy work. It is not easy work, you guys. This month is, uh, we didn't start this last month because there was too many new things going on last month. We started this this month because this is the month of shedding. This is the month of purification. This is the month of in this space, in this moon, in this quarter, you are rebirthing. This is your rebirth. This is where you see yourself, where you have implemented tools. You have learned. You have grown. You have done something different to create a new normal for you, a new this is it for you, this focus for you, you know? So really embrace that. You are not the same person you were 28 days ago or um, at the beginning of the month in the new moon space when we talked um, all the way at the beginning of the month. You are not that person anymore. You have shifted and changed and shed and moved into a new space. And so really embrace that, really see that, really celebrate that. And really, 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 if I cannot stress this enough, take the time to give yourself the compassion and to lovingly look back at the cycle and the month and see the things that you've learned, see the things that you've grown through, see the evolution that's taken place and see what has come from it. Does it feel good? Should you change something? Is there something you could add? Is there something that just didn't resonate that you want to take um, and leave behind? Thank it and let it go. Thank it and move on to something different that will suit you far better. So 
I hope that you are having an amazing February. I know so many of you are. I love all the comments. I love all the shares. I love hearing from you and how you're implementing this and how it's really, really unfolding for you because it is amazing how when we acknowledge the things that work for us and the things that don't work for us and we embrace the things that work for us and we gently and compassionately think and release the things that don't work for us, we can change our entire life. So I hope you're having a wonderful day and I can't wait to talk again soon. We will see you shortly. All right, have a great day. Bye-bye.